Bienvenido al programa. Aquí está el hombre, el mito, el rey del ajo. Damas y caballeros, es Gary Lely. Welcome to another episode of Good Cooking. And today we're preparing you for Cinco de Mayo. And we made an amazing guacamole. Look at these beautiful ripe avocados. Ben, you're a big guacamole fan. Is it guacamole? You have the, uh, you know Spanish. I, I don't, I don't speak it because I never had a hop of wall, but how would you say this word? Ah, guacamole. That sounded, you have such a wonderful command of the Spanish language. <laughs> and you gave it to me like you were from Washington, yet you are fluent. It's as if I'm from Washington. I feel like it's more like guajomole. Yeah, that's not right. That's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. Who gives a shit? Let's make it. You get these really nice, you want them nice and ripe. Not too ripe. You don't want them to be too mushy, but nice and ripe. And then I like to just go right down the middle like that. Twist that off. That's a beautiful, that is a gorgeous avocado. That's a perfect avocado. Isn't that beautiful? I like to give a little shout out to my little, uh, Farm stand at the farmer's market. Go support your local businesses. I've said that to you many times before. You don't get better avocados than this. Only in Mexico. Only in Mexico. Otherwise known as like. Mexico. Mexico. Was that a little better for you? Yeah, that was a little better. You know, you 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 are you speak so nicely when you're speaking to people in in Spanish, and then you get here and you clam up because you're on TV. How or, would you say guacamole? Guacamole. Yeah, that's just wrong. Though. That's wrong. It sounds racist, huh? It does. A little racist. <laughs> By the way, you know what's really interesting? When you're out here, people are very specific about what kind of Hispanic they are. Mexican, Guatemalan, Puerto Rican, so on and so forth. In the East Coast, you're the Spanish. <laughs> Well, they don't call themselves Spanish, do they? And it's the same thing with Asian people. How dare they represent the country that they're from? That's it's, crazy. It's splitting it? hairs. Yeah. It's splitting hairs. But no, that's not right. That's okay. like saying that you and I are the same. We are. <laughs> Both white. I think this episode is going swimmingly. Well, we've so far scooped two avocados and offended every nation. Yeah. So, it's good. pretty on par for us. This is probably gonna serve the three of us, but uh, you know, if you're gonna do, I don't know, five, seven people, whatever, obviously gonna have to do a lot more than this, but this will probably be, I don't know, three to five. And if Lindsay and I weren't here, would you take this all down yourself? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, you don't think I'm working on that second chin for nothing. <laughs> so now we got that. I like to, and this may be, uh, crazy to some people. I add a little drop of olive oil. I think it adds a little nice flavor to it and mashes it up really well. So a little drizzle there. And then what we're gonna do, Ben, is take this nice masher and we're just gonna mash it on in there. When you have uh, guacamole, do you do you like it with a little bit of chunks in it or you do like it a little bit more creamy and... Um, I prefer chunk to creamy. You prefer chunk to creamy. When it's too creamy, it just feels slow. Yeah, it feels a little a little baby food ish. Yeah. Right? Now we're gonna add some of our veggies, a little jalapeno, a little red onion, a little cilantro, and some uh, little tomatoes here that we got. A little cherry tomato. Tiny ones. You need tiny ones. I like a cherry tomato. These are, I guess, these are little cherubs. Let's start chopping up here, Ben, huh? A little red onion. I like it very fine. I don't like to put too much. I don't want it to be overpowering. Then what I like to do is I just go like this. How do you feel about that, Ben, huh? I like it a lot. So you know? much, I'm gonna ask you to stop so I can get a close up of it. Yeah, 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 get on in here. As I start to cry, I'm shedding a tear because I got a haircut today and it's just that good. Shout out to the Octopus Shaving Company, which is right around the corner from my vegetable stand. I kill all birds with one stone early in the morning. My eyes are on fire. <laughs> wow, I'm yeah, just gonna got, do this. You got deuced. I'm gonna do this as Ray Charles here today. <laughs> I'm gonna just sprinkle a little in there. Probably not even gonna need all of this. We'll have a little extra here. You like a little spice in your uh, guacamole, Ben? I'll give a little kick in the pants once in a while. Yep, do a little jalapeno. I like to uh, scrape the seeds out of this. And then we're just gonna cut these up. I want these small too. This actually might be enough. I'm gonna leave it at that. Is that not great color? That's terrific. Look at that. That is pro. Now, got my cilantro. Do you like cilantro? I love cilantro. I, uh, now you get the accent. <laughs> Put your finger here. Let me cut it off. 
Just gonna chop this up. Ben, you can make guacamole on Sundays when you're watching the ball game and you're watching March Madness. I could, I won't, but I could. Is there anything that goes on in that uh, apartment that uh, would make someone wanna come over? Probably not. So do you think if you had a lady friend over, do you think with all of the episodes that we've done thus far, you can put something together? I think I could, but it'd be a remarkable disappointment. You know what I'll do? I'll come over, I'll put on a tuxedo, <laughs> I'll make the entire meal. You could tell the lady friend of yours that at this stage of the game in your comedy career, you have been lucky enough to afford a butler. <laughs> even though you have to share the apartment with two other fellas. What should I refer to you as? What's your name going to be? You don't even refer to me as a name. What it's a I lot of whistle. You? Okay. A lot of bell. Do you speak English? Sometimes. Okay. Maybe not clear, no. <laughs> but I could. This is definitely getting us canceled. <laughs> Our Cinco de Mayo is <laughs> managed to have everyone to celebrate Cinco Oh de Mayo. yeah, it is Cinco de Mayo. Eh, whatever, the 5th of May. The most important day in May is the 19 days after the 5th. It's called the 24th, my birthday. <laughs> At least that's what my mom used to tell me. So we got it finally chopped up here. Dump it right in there. I'm not looking for any kind of big chunks of cilantro. There is absolutely nothing worse than that in guacamole, in my opinion. Now, you may get some other people who think that that is a really nice thing to have. And in that case, make your own guacamole. You do it your way, and I'm not gonna judge you. But I will. After I leave your house, I get in the car with my wife and I talk about everything you made. All right, let's take some of our tomatoes here. So I don't like them big. I don't like anything in the guacamole too big. I like Cinco de Mayo. I do, I do enjoy it. It's actually, I actually think it's the start of summer. More so than Memorial Day? Yeah, because you're getting in that, you're getting in that mood, the margarita, the lime. I hear you. You know, the weather's just turning. I hear you. By the way, I really like having a conversation with you. I'm not paying so much attention to this camera today, but I don't really care. <laughs> I do what I want, no one's watching. <laughs> Let's get our lime. You're looking at it like it's a lemon. It's yeah. not. When you buy limes in the grocery store, they're green because they're trash. When you grow them on your property, they're like this. Let me show you. Look at that. That's a lime. Smell it to confirm it. That's, That's a, a lime. lime. That's a lime. I'm gonna take this little fancy juice squeezer I got, take half a lime and just whoop, because I love the citrus in the guacamole. Now, it's seasoning time. I don't use a tremendous amount of seasonings. I use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And that's it, so you're just gonna mix it in. Let's mix this bad boy up. Look at the color on that. And there you have it. Bingo bango. If you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo this year, don't go to the grocery store and buy that store-bought guacamole. It's so simple to make with just simple ingredients. I did it, and I'm not even Spanish. As always, the recipe is in the description below, and from our house to yours. Gracias por tu punto de vista y buen provecho. How do we like this? I like the citrus. Very nice. Perfect. Salt? No need. No. Lime? It's perfect. No more citrus. Mm -mm. You nailed it. No. All right.